Yes. Yes. Axe still sticking out of your belly. You're downtrodden. And you're a coward. I did the Minecraft YouTuber thing. A little bit of offline building. Good hedgy. Good. Keep the meat of your brethren fresh. Hang in there, kitty. And most importantly... Yes. Yes! Got a bit of variety now. But most importantly... Kitty. Time to take on the first boss of this world. I didn't know what lied in store for us, but with Cardi B and my other pals by my side, on top of a travelling montage, I knew we could handle whatever this boss had in store for us. See, I've not fought this boss yet, but. As you can see, I've been here before. I could have fast travelled, but I mean, for you guys, it, it's visual. It's it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Okay, so this boss fight, this boss fight right here, this is what really sold me on this game. Now, I'm not exactly a veteran on survival based games, but I've played a few. Obviously I've got some time in Project Zomboid, I've platinumed Conan Exiles, Minecraft, was on the road to playing Stranded Deep, but I've got bored of the grind on that one. I've dipped my toes in others as well, such as Subnautica, Frostpunk, The Forest, and its sequel, Sons of the Forest. Now, one of my biggest complaints in every one of those games were the boss battles. They just didn't seem to have any right, decent gameplay or mechanics that I personally look for in a boss battle. They're just like, okay, here's a much bigger enemy with a unique skin, and it's spongy as fuck. Now have at it, son. But this right here, I don't know if it's because the gameplay just clicked at the right time, but I really enjoyed myself here. Yeah, it's still a bit spongy, but it had move sets. The fast multi-shot electric missiles, the slow moving heavy damage shots, the basic slap attack and the 1-2-3 sequence heavy combo. The dodging actually had iframes, which as a Souls-like fan, in an online survival based game, I really liked it, I don't know what to tell you. 10 minute time limit, while yes, a bit generous, does add a level of tension to it all, like ah shit, I can't just loop him round and cheese him forever, I'm on a clock and the train's leaving soon. It's not so long that it's easy, but it's not so long that you need to be over leveled to stand a chance of finishing it in time. The pal hunger mechanic, I was quite surprised actually coming into play here. During the boss fight I actually had to change out my pals three times because they just kept getting hungry, so I couldn't just rely on my OP ones like Cardi B to do all the heavy lifting, as I had been doing for most of this game so far. Now, was this because I was under leveled, or is it a basic element of these boss fights? I don't know. At the time of recording, this is the first and only one I've actually fought, so I can't comment on all of them, but anyway, I thought it would be more beneficial if I gave my personal thoughts on this opening boss fight than just having me play out the entire unedited fight with some random funnies thrown in here and there. Don't know if I'll do something similar when I reach the next one or not, but just thought I'd say, although easy in terms of general fun and entertainment, well, this first fight slapped my cock off. Right. Back to the video. There's only one person that finishes this fight with me. We do 
this together, Cardi. You and me. Oh, and she's hungry. Whoa. There it is. The Erd Tree. Okay, no lie. Even those mountains, even those like Pride Rock Mountains, this literally looks like Elden Ring. If it was like, you know, Fortnite type things. Let's get my girl home. Cardi. Cardi. You want egg? You want egg? There we go. I just realized there was a much easier way to do that. Wait, egg? Oh for God's sake! Where are they coming from? I had literally just got back to my base and barely got my bearings back after the Grisbolt boss fight and I was already being raided again. Though, this wasn't necessarily a bad thing. You see, I wanted to move on in the game and from this base, but needed to know my team of pals here could fend for themselves and survive without me. So I thought this would be a perfect training exercise for them. Okay, while I did help a bit, my pals absolutely slapped them. The raiders were even shamed by being chased off by Gumos of all things. Gumos has taken the fight to them. You know what, Dino? You earned that. You took some DPS. Oh. That's seven. Oh my. What? Note to self. Don't use that. Please, just don't use that. I wanted to level up and try out some of my powers that weren't Cardi, and saw on the map there were two water-based bosses nearby. So, being water-based, I took my Sparket out for a test drive, who, as it turns out, is absolutely ruthless versus water pals. Oh my god, it's tree trunks from Adventure Time. Even brain beasts get lonely, Finn. How do you like them apples? I didn't mean to kill you, tree tree trunks. I'm sorry. <gasps> More tree trunks. A monk. <gasps> Monkey. Monkey. Yes. Mm, monkey. Right, I need to go get a tree trunks because there was tree trunks up there. I can't not get a tree trunks. Come on. Whoa. A red chest, you say? Oh, that's the one that needed keys. 
I'm coming tree trunks no OQ this time. Jank. Yes, Jank. <sighs> Praise the Jank. Excuse me? Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Egg. Egg. Oh, this is the place for the holy eggs. I have many eggs. I must hatch them all. Dark egg. Uh, hold up. No, no. No, you don't get to relax. Not after what you did. Now yeah, you defended the base. You're alright, I guess. But I'm watching you. I am watching you. Just a little cold. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? A few moments later. It is time for egg. You serious? What <laughs> was, was that it? <laughs> God fucking do it! Okay, come on, dark egg, let me down. Common egg. Come through for me. I'll take it. You feel what? You don't get to rest. Oh no, I see where you're going. No. No, that there's no room. Oh wait, never mind. Peter showed up. It was time for round two of the training. The gang proving themselves again, and if last time they slapped them, well, this time they practically one shot half of them. I could have happily left them to it on their own, if it wasn't for two raiders that wouldn't come into the base due to their own, um, technical difficulties. Do not anger the marmoset. Your village be your downfall. That's right, we're gonna cheat. Okay, just keep glitching while my stamina regens, thank you. Uh... Okay, guys, just don't attack him. It's easy. Just pretend he's not even here. Fuck you, who breaks. What? Hold up. This is literally an ever jail. The come on, guys. And now onto the second water base boss I saw in the area, and my first ever jail. Now I won't lie. Compared to the main boss fight, this one was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, I know I'm using an elemental weakness here, but I feel like it could have been a bit more, you know? I feel like the timer is needed for these things. If they're going to be area bosses marked on the map with their own arena and everything, 
And if they are going to just be powers you can catch out in the open world with a couple of smaller ones to keep an eye on, why not have more small ones spawn in? Make the little ones a constant threat and not just, right, let's one-shot these three little bitches out of the way and be done with them. I don't know. But my first ever jail was not nearly as enjoyable as my first mainline boss was. And next to spark it, well, this guy went down like a sack of shit. Oh, yes. Easy, 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 easy. What in the hell? It's time we called out the big guns. Now that's a lot of damage! Oh dear. No. Oh, my new arch nemesis. Son of a. Starring my way up. A Peter convention. I do enjoy cleaning out these camps. I like that they have powers in cages, and so far, they've either been ones I haven't seen out in the open world, or elemental twists on ones I already have, like this alternate Dinos in Cage tier. Again, I don't know if this is going to keep happening or eventually they'll just become common pals, which, I mean, by the end game, I guess all of them will be, but for now, these bases are always worth clearing out for the three pals caged inside. Mine. Mine. No backsies. No backsies. Maybe this area is too hard. The area may have seemed too hard, but I needed to grow. I decided to set up my second base camp here, so I could level myself up to be on par with the new average level pals in the area. Fire egg? Fire egg. I'd need to be stronger if I was gonna take on the next proper boss. However, the start of my new base construction was soon to end in tragedy. Time to start again.
Quack.